This guy claims to have made Minecraft's safest vault. But the problem is, it's actually not good. Like, we can do better than this. So today, I'm gonna be building the actual safest vault that is filled with tons of hidden traps, like a giant wall that shoots fireballs, a room completely flooded with guardians, and so much more. Oh my god! And it's also gonna be unbreakable and really difficult to steal from. Yeah, it's gonna be way better than this one. <laughs> Step one is spending days of my life building the entire outside of the vault. Oh my gosh, this um, this thing is massive. And with all the space inside of this thing is where I'm gonna build all the defense rooms. One by one, eventually leading up to the vault. So we have a lot of room to work with. The first room at the entrance is of course gonna be the easiest. It's just a couple of skeletons shooting at you. Yep. <laughs> and as the rooms go on, I'm gonna make them way more insane and difficult to get inside. Now the entrance room is done. And after each room, I'll give them a rating. And I gotta say, I'll, I'll give it a 5 out of 10 on looks. And since it's not that secure, I'll give it a 2 star on that. Room 2 will make up for it. Because I'll be putting in a secret lava wall as a defense. So now if they want to get past it, they would have to find the secret button that opens up the lava wall. Yeah, you actually have to click the button like multiple times, but I'm sure you figure that out, right? But this is obviously not enough. So to make this room even more secure, I'll be adding mammoth blocks in a whole different room that has blazes inside of it and another lava wall. And they cannot turn this one off. So they would have to jump through it to get to the other room. But while they try to figure that out, there'll be blazes constantly shooting at them. Just to add a little bit more pressure. I uh, forgot that I didn't build the other room yet. Also, it took me way too long to get these blazes. Um, but we, we, we don't we don't talk about that. This room is for sure gonna throw my friend off. So I'll give it a 3.5 star for being secure and a uh, three star on looks. It it could look better. Crap! I didn't mean it. I didn't mean. It. Also, I just now realized how challenging building the other rooms will be since I have to make each one better and better. But it's gonna be worth it because at the end of the video, I'll be inviting my friend to test out the vault. So I gotta make this really difficult. Hopefully, he like doesn't die or anything. <laughs> That would be bad. The third room will be a completely flooded room. And it's, it's gonna look so cool when finished. So let's go ahead and grab everything we need and build the entire room. And there we go. This is, this is actually cool, but we do have to kind of flood it. You know what? That was definitely worth like two hours of my time. But of course, this is not safe. So we have to add more stuff, like a bunch of fake exits to confuse whoever tries to leave this room. And if they go into a fake one, it leads them all the way back to the surface with no way of getting back in. And on top of that, let's make it deadly by bringing in a bunch of guardians. This probably won't take a while. <laughs> I mean, sarcastic. So all we gotta do is place a bunch of soul sand on the ground, and then eventually the guardians will go over it and they will float all the way to the top. Yeah, look at that, see? If they go, whoa, they go flying, oh my God. Now from here, all we gotta do is put a box to capture them in and then bring them all the way to the vault. No, please, 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 fly! Fly! Why is it not flying, dude? This game sucks! Yeah, it's, um, it's a little bit easier said than done. And there we go, we got all three of the Guardians. And let's pretend like that didn't take hours. But you gotta admit, this is pretty cool. Because now whenever you enter the room, you get stuck with these and are most likely dead if you don't find the exit. I'm also gonna rig the entrance with these bubble looking things. So whenever you enter, you can't get out unless you find the exit, which you better hope you find the exit. But now we are done with the third room and I'll give it a seven on looks. I mean, this looks pretty sick and a four on being secure. Yeah, I mean, it's all right, but don't worry. We still have seven other rooms and they only get better and better from here. And honestly, I can't wait to have my friend try to get through all this later in the video. It's gonna be pretty funny seeing his reaction to everything I'm gonna make. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Chill, 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 chill. Alright, now for the fourth room, I'm gonna turn it into an insane hidden puzzle. Inside of this library. With with music. But don't don't forget the music. Now ironically, the first puzzle is actually finding the puzzle. Yeah, that, that made sense. Because in room four, I'll have three different mini rooms that you would have to get past to get to room five. And each one gets harder and harder. With the first one being a combination lock using item frames. And I'm not gonna lie, this took me so long to figure out. Look, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not good at redstone. But now if you enter the right code, 
Um, into the right code. Bro, there's no way I forgot my own code. <sighs> Alright, there we go. Um, but now if you open this, you get past the first mini room and the second one opens. And this one is going to be a maze. And I'm going to build it only using black concrete. So it's even more confusing. Yeah, Kyves is going to have a hard time getting through this maze. I, um, <clears throat> I ran out of black concrete. I'm also going to be adding some buttons in the maze that activates traps. Like the first one being a secret arrow cannon. So real quick, let's go ahead and build that and give it a test. Alright, so now he, he's just going to be going through the maze. He's going to be like, oh, this is very suspicious, right? But there's only one way past it. Wait, are you serious? It doesn't even work. <laughs> are you kidding me? Um, ignore that. Minecraft is just weird. But it works now, so we're good. Okay, it's not as deadly as I thought it was going to be, but you know what? It, it works. And the next hidden trap will be a chest that opens up to a lava pit. And if you get stuck in this, you, you're basically dead because you won't be able to break out. Yeah, now you can you can kind of see if you have minor fatigue, how difficult that would actually be. Hopefully he doesn't actually die because that would be bad. Hey, bro. Please. Please. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and for the last trap, I'm going to do the same thing, but with water. Because why not? I, I think that'd be fun. Now, if somehow the defenses don't work, he is um, for sure going to struggle going through this maze. I mean, just look at it. I definitely, I, I, I would struggle too. But if he makes it through, all he has to do is click this button right here. Oh, wait. I didn't build it yet. Hold on. Click this, and it opens the third and final mini room of the fourth room, which is literally just going to be a two-block jump over lava. Yeah, you have to be pretty stupid if you're- And once you make the jump, you complete it room 4. And in total, I'll give it a 5 for looks, and a 6 for how secure it is. Overall, it's pretty solid. And it's crazy to think this is only the beginning of the vault. We still have so much more to do to make this vault the safest vault. Like building the rest of the rooms, using a game-breaking feature to make this vault unbreakable, and so much more. So I think it's time we start working on the harder rooms. Starting with room 5, which will be an escape room. And I'm gonna make this room so difficult that my friend will have to give up when he tries to solve it. Bing! Oh. Bing! The design of this escape room is he starts at the bottom and he has to get all the way to the top, where the exit to room 6 will be. The first thing he would have to do when he gets in is figure out how to get to that block up there with just the items in this hidden chest, which is not a lot, but if he's small enough, he would make this. A launcher that takes him all the way up. But as you can see, it doesn't reach all the way to the block. So he would have to find this other hidden chest right here with this ladder inside that he can use to get to the block. Just like this. Oh, um, uh, just like this. There we go. Okay. Then from here, I'll build an item frame lock combination that he needs to figure out. Only using this paper as a hint. But little does he know, it's, it's fake. Yeah, this uh, doesn't <laughs> lead anywhere. But if he looks up, he'll see this chicken. Now, I'm 100% sure that this will make him confused because he has to wait for the chicken to lay an egg and then throw it at the item frame on the other side of the wall, releasing a trident with riptide on it that he can use in the water at the bottom to go to the next floor of the escape room. This took way too long to get everything for this but hey, it's pretty cool. In total, he has to get past two layers in this escape room, each one getting harder. So now we have to build layer two. And this one's gonna be pretty challenging because as soon as you enter, there will be lava falling from the ceiling, adding a whole lot of pressure to this room. Oh my. Okay, go. There's lava falling from Bro, the ceiling. Bro, what the heck is this? I'm gonna be honest, this was so time consuming. I have no clue how this works, but it, it works. So we're good. And of course, I can't activate it right now. Otherwise, I mean, it will die. But the main objective of this is to craft a fire res potion using all the items available before the lava reaches you, which is going to be really hard to do. And I actually cannot wait to see him try. No, 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 no. Imagine he doesn't know how to craft a fire res potion. That, that would be, that would be pretty funny. That would be, that would be. Anyway, and I'll make the exit right above the lava. So when he makes the potion, he will have to swim up to it. So now we are entirely done with the escape room. And honestly, I think this is one of the coolest things we've built so far. So I'll give it a 4 in looks, but a 7.5 in how secure it is. I like this room. Let's go on and build the next room, which actually ties in with the escape room. Because room 6 is going to be the end. Okay, look, not actually, but hear me out. I'm going to build a completely fake end into the vault to throw whoever enters right off their track. Look, I know, I I'm a genius. I mean, 
<laughs> but to make it believable, I gotta put something really good in this room. So that there's no suspicion of this not being the end. So now whenever you enter, you are greeted with this chest that has really good items inside. By really good, I mean a bunch of gold, which is good, I guess. And there'll be a fake exit right here that they can take, which leads them all the way up to the surface without no way back in. Like, imagine this actually works. The curtain's too strong! <laughs> the curtain's too strong! No, no, ah! <laughs> That would be... <laughs> That'd be so funny. But if he looks around, he'll find the entrance to the rest of the vault, which will be located actually right where you jumped in. And it's really not obvious at all, unless you like really look at it, then it kind of is. But I, I don't think you'll find it, hopefully. Anyway, I'm gonna rate this room a nine for looks. I mean, this room is pretty cool. And a zero for being secure, since it's not built for that. But I'll be adding a new rating for this one, okay? A rating of 10 for distraction, distractibility. Is that a word? I don't even know. Anyway, let's move on to room seven, which now, since we only have three rooms left, it's time to make them actually 100% impossible. These last rooms are gonna make this vault the safest vault in, in Minecraft history. I'm, I'm not joking. And I call this room the impossible one block hole. Okay, that might sound lame, but it's not. Because I'm gonna make a one block tunnel that goes all the way around the vault. And he would have to crawl through the entire thing. Oh. Now you may be thinking, why? how is this even secure? Look, here's the twist. I'm gonna be rigging it with dispensers that non-stop splash him with poison potions, making him always at half a height. Then there will be damaged potions as well, popping each and every one of his totems, forcing him to fall back. What the heck? Oh, Bro! Oh, oh, oh my god, oh. if I stepped on the other pressure plate, I would have been dead. Yeah, I wasn't joking when I said this room's gonna be deadly. He better have a lot of totems. All right, so I just made an automatic potion maker. So basically now all I have to do is press a button and it makes any potion that I want. It, it, it's pretty convenient. Since I'm gonna be needing a lot of potions, this is gonna be pretty handy. But this is only scratching the surface. Since I also rigged the dispensers with slowness, so it takes him even longer to get past. Increasing his odds of failing by so much more, which means I have to craft more potions. <sighs> Oh, also, at the end of the tunnel, I'm going to build two more tunnels. Bro, this game's out the game. What the heck was that? And one of them will bring you all the way back to the start, making you go through all the potions again. And the other tunnel will lead you to room 8. Yeah, I... I don't blame him if he hates me after this, but it would be so funny if he actually goes through the wrong tunnel. <laughs> Imagine. I'll give this room a 9 for being secure, because I mean, look at it, it it's pretty secure. And a 2 for looks. I mean, it's just a tunnel, a, uh, a super deadly one. But I'm actually super proud of this, and I cannot wait to see Carves try it. But now it's time for room 8, which is personally my favorite room, because I'm going to use a mechanic that not too many people use. Fireballs. Yeah, they're actually not that deadly by themselves. But if you put it in a dispenser and hook it up to redstone, it actually shoots real fireballs just like a gas. Like, this is insane. Why do people not use this? But you know what's even crazier? <clears throat> Adding 100 dispensers and making it even faster. Oh my god! I, I guess you can see where I'm going with this now. I'm gonna rig over 200 dispensers in room eight with the non-stop fireballs on each side of the room. But, um, slight, slight problem. I have to craft over 100,000 fireballs. Yeah, um... Luckily, it's not too difficult to craft fire charges because all we need is coal, blaze powder, and gunpowder. Now, all we gotta do is craft them and, and repeat that process. Which is gonna take a while. That took way too long, but we finally have all the fireballs. So, let's fill the dispensers up, make the redstone... And there we go. We now have 200 infinite fireball cannons that activate whenever you walk in this room. Bro, I, I cannot wait to see Kaz's reaction to this. This is this is gonna be crazy. Oh my god. Yep! And I'm not even done with the room yet. Yeah, we, we have more. You see, it would hurt, but he could easily just outrun the fireballs if he wanted to. So I'm gonna make a really difficult parkour course. So now he would have to try to figure out how to get past this while getting rained on by over 100,000 fireballs. Yeah, this has to be my my favorite room. Also, just saying, I tested this parkour and, and I beat it first try, but but I'm, I'm a parkour expert. So of course it's gonna be easy for me. <clears throat> I'm not being sarcastic. Anyway, real quick, let's make the exit a little more difficult to access by placing a hidden button at the start of the room. So if he does make the parkour, he will have to go back to open the exit. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just pretty evil at this point, look. 
but things like this are so funny. I'm pretty hyped to see him try to beat this one. I mean, it's like 90% impossible. There's, there's no way, right? Real quickly, I do want to spice up this room a little bit more by making it look like the Nevit. Hit it because fireballs and gas, they shoot fire. Um, anyway, uh, let, let, let's uh, move on. I'll give this room an 8 on looks and an 8 for being secure. Definitely our best room yet. But now that we are done with room 8, we only have two rooms left. But we still have so much more than just two rooms to do. Because I still need to make every single block in this vault impossible to break. And it involves something that honestly not too many people use. But now we got to move on to room 9. Which I'm going to take something from every room we have built so far to make one ultimate room. He's for sure going to struggle with this one. So let's take it back to room one, which had skeletons. So instead of only six skeletons, I think we should add 20. That was only two skeletons? And I got shot like a thousand times. I wonder how many times I'm, I'm gonna get shot, like getting all. Yeah, this, this took way longer than I would, uh, I would like to admit. Room 2 had lava walls, so we are also going to implement that and make it 10 times bigger. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's pretty massive. But real quick, let's make the lava wall merge with the skeletons by making it look like the net. Yeah, th this just looks way better. Room 3 was a flooded room, so I figured let's make the giant lava wall lead into the flooded area. Because that's kind of ironic, I guess. It took way too long to get all these quartz holy crap but since we are taking stuff from each room and making it better let's make this water room 50 times better by first adding more decorations then instead of only adding three guardians i'm gonna add 10 of them and there we go 10 guardians that took a long time room four was a puzzle with an escape room so let's upgrade that by including an impossible maze and when i say impossible i mean impossible this maze is gonna be five stories tall yeah but you see the problem is with some time you can easily beat it that's why i'm gonna add water in the entire maze with only a few areas that are safe to breathe in yeah this one is pretty crazy and i'm also gonna be adding different themes for each layer like layer one was cobblestone so for layer two i'm gonna do like a nether theme layer three i'm gonna do a little bit of an iron theme layer four will be a gold theme and layer five will be a wood theme um, that sounded way cooler in my head. So now let's upgrade the escape room by making this new room 50% impossible. Okay, that might not sound crazy, but let me explain. I left a piece of paper in the other escape room that they would have to bring with them to open this door. So that's why this room is 50% impossible. Because if they don't keep it, they just can't get past. Imagine this is how he gets out. That would be pretty funny. Room 6 was a fake exit. So I thought what better way to upgrade this than to just make two options. One tunnel leading out and one tunnel leading to the next segment. A complete 50-50 chance again. Like I, I know I'm pretty mean for doing this quite often, uh, but I want this to be in the most secure vault ever. I don't care if I have to use a 50-50 chance to achieve that. I have to do what I gotta do, you know? Room 7 was an impossible one block tunnel. So let's upgrade that by making it double the size of the original one. But you see, the problem with that is it's not that secure, just very time consuming. So I'll be filling this up with cobwebs. So it would actually take days upon days to get to the other side. Look how slow this is. There's no way. I kind of feel bad for him now. Cause he has to do all of that. Room 8 was the fireball room. So to upgrade that, I'll be adding the same amount of fireballs, but this time, include Minecraft's most deadly item, the end crystal. So now once they enter the room, they get dropped into a pit with end crystal. Then the fireballs will cause them to blow up, killing anyone who falls in in a matter of seconds. But you see, the problem is they could very well survive with a bunch of totems, since the end crystals kind of blow each other up. So I'll have over 1,000 TNT raining from the sky, hopefully popping every totem. Yeah, th this this room is pretty deadly. But if he survives all of that, all he has to do is break this fake dispenser right here to finally leave room 9. And for the rating on this entire room, I'll give it a 10 for being secure and a 10 for looks. I mean, this is the room. It has everything in the past rooms, but better. Of course, I'm giving it a 10. But now, if Carves gets past everything, he will be met with room 10, which is the last room that has a chest with all my loot inside. If he gets to this room, he wins. But then there's no way he's getting in. I mean, I made this whole vault 99% impossible. 
There is still one thing left to do, and I've been saving it for last because once I do this, I cannot get inside the vault anymore. I have to get an Elder Guardian. This basically makes it to where no one can destroy any blocks out of this entire vault, making it the ultimate final piece to the whole thing. So now whenever you walk into the first room of the vault, you should get minor fatigue. Yo, it actually works. Holy cow. All right, now all we gotta do is show it to Carves and see if he can beat it. Alright, are you ready to see what I've been working on for the past uh, month? Bro, it's been six months since you last posted. So for five months, you're telling me for five months you did nothing. Alright, just uh, look down and uh, follow me, okay? How do I follow you while looking down? <laughs> Bro, this thing is so massive. I can't wait to see something you've been working on for the past six months. Follow me over the Bro, water. can you go slower? I can't see. Okay, okay. Alright, are you ready? Yes. Alright, look behind you. In three, two, two, well, I can't oh count. Oh my god. One. What? <laughs> Bro, what the heck is this? Bro, this is a vault? Yeah. What the heck yeah. are you storing? You're like poor. All right, so there's one very valuable item inside of it, and I'm going to have you try to go in and steal it. Okay. Am I gonna die? Alright, and uh, here's all these totems because you're gonna need them. Okay. Really? How many am I gonna need? And to make sure you don't die, I'm gonna give you this ender pearl to uh, throw in this chamber right here so that I can pull it whenever I need to get you out of the vault. And you're gonna pull it before I die, right? Yeah, yeah. Bro, why are yeah. you doing this to me? I'm ready. Alright, go ahead and go in in three. Two, one, go! Bro, are you kidding me? Let's go on. Oh, mining fatigue! Oh, oh my. Okay, okay. First room, first room. Out, out, okay, out. Okay, there's a button, bro. That was easy. Uh, you have to figure out how to get past this one on your own. Uh, I can tell you. Bro. Okay, so I just. Okay, this is obvious. Just run through. Okay. Um, oh, um, oh, <laughs> go down, go ah. down, bro, go down. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. Blaze room, what the heck is this? Yeah, this room's like really dangerous, so like be careful. You, you know how many hearts I lost already? Absolutely zero. Really? <laughs> yes. All right, we run through again. Okay, bet. All right, so this is room three, and you'll probably definitely get close to dying in this one. Wait. Where are the guardians at? Are you serious? Are, are is there supposed to be guardians in here? Bro, well, there's no way they all died. How did they even die? <sighs> all right, well you still have to find the exit, and I made it pretty difficult to. F are you? Oh, are you kidding me? Right here. Oh my god, you found that so fast. But <laughs> if the if the guardians were actually in here, that would have been so much more difficult. <sighs> all right, well this is room four, and I'll let you figure it out for yourself. A library. Oh wait, it's a puzzle room. Yeah, yeah, you have to figure out this insanely difficult uh, combination lock that took me hours to make. Good luck. Oh, really? Watch, watch this. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you're getting it, bro. Oh! Oh, bet. What? Bet. <laughs> there's no way you figure that out so fast. <sighs> Alright, even though the other rooms haven't worked that well so far, I'm pretty sure you'll get stuck on this one because it's a pretty big maze. Okay, okay. Bro, why is it... Why is there so many torches? Oh! Oh. I found it. Is this an exit? Oh, you found the hidden chest? Oh, that's actually the way out. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Wait, kill him! Wait, kill him! Please! Oh, my God, bro. I mean, do you want me to pull the ender pearl? I can pull it and you can lose. No. That's fine no, with me. No. Don't pull the ender pearl. Kill him. Why are you. Oh, okay. oh I don't have mining fatigue anymore. Was that not the end of the maze? <laughs> no. What? Oh my gosh! How big is this maze? Bro, you keep backtracking. I don't know where I am. Oh, oh. Oh, you finally Yo! found it. Alright, so just beware. This next one is extremely, like, extremely difficult. Like, I'm just gonna warn you ahead of time. Just be, be prepared. It's hard. You have to jump over that lava. Are you kidding me? A two-block jump. 
Wow, you actually did it. Now you're in room five, which is the escape room. And I'm not I'm not even gonna tell you anything. You just have to figure it out on your on your own. Okay, we got a chicken on the lead, we got a trident, we got a chest and water. What is your deal with these torches? <laughs> Nobody places lighting, torches man. like that. Alright, uh I guess open the chest. Ladder. A piston. Okay, I know what I do with this. What do you do? Uh Okay, I gotta be very careful. I'm gonna use it to go up here. So okay. I place piston, a slime block, and a button. Right? Uh huh. Why'd you place it on the wall? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, slime block and a button right here this time. Mm -hmm. Bing! Bing! <laughs> you can't use it if it's attached to a oh wall. Oh my god! So, uh, how's your day today? All right, okay. Off with the wall this time. And a button right here. Bing! <laughs> on the floor, on the floor. Bing! Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Yep. Bing! Oh, wait, almost. Yep. Bing! You got it. Yep, just. Wait. Oh. Wait, this is not possible. I build it on the wrong side? Wait, wait, wait. I got a ladder. Okay, okay. I'm smart. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, my God. Nice. I'm so good. Nice. There we go. What the... Okay, we made it up. We got the chicken and we got... What does it look like to you? I'm not this smart. Bro, I honestly don't know. You know, I could pull the ender pearl if you want me to. No, no. Okay, what is this piece of paper? <laughs> Bro, Bro, you can actually read it. Yes, this is my language. Frame, mm -hmm. frame, and frame. Frame, mm -hmm. again. Frame, frame, frame. Oh. Oh my god. Egg! Oh. Egg! Egg! Oh my god! Oh. oh, okay, you did it. But before you go in, before you use that trident to go to the other room, I need to oh. tell you something, okay? Okay. As soon as you enter the room upstairs, you're on a time limit of like a, a very short amount of time. So you have to think fast, okay? All right, all right. Double hand. Three, two, one. Did you miss? Don't talk about that. One. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. Okay, go. There's lava from the ceiling. Bro, what the heck is Think this? Fast. Think fast. No, 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 no. Please rot in there. You know what uh, to do? You know what to do? Another wart. Um. Wait. Actually, actually, know what? This is way. <laughs> this is way too fast. Wait, what? This why, is way too fast. Is wait, why is the stuff on the sides? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I didn't think about that. All right, all right. Um. Um, okay, and I made fire res. Let's drink it and I guess, uh, swim up. Wow, that was hole. so anticlimactic. Yeah, let me just, uh, quickly bam and bam. <sighs> well, I guess you win. Good job. You fall down there. So this room is actually, that's the end. You won. That was the entire escape room. Uh, the prize is in there. It's just a bunch of gold. I had a lot of, like a lot of gold. And um, you can you can use that thing to your right to escape and leave the room. I can't believe you did it that fast. That's actually crazy, dude. I don't believe you. Bro, the way you built this vault for gold. Why are you not taking, why are you not taking bro. the exit yet? The exit's right there. Bro, I don't know, bro. I don't own oh, you. You can, you should take it. Go, go. Nah, 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 nah. I don't trust you. Oh no, I just went. Oh! Up. Oh! Yo! <laughs> There's no way! No, I'm swimming down. The curtain's too strong! <laughs> the curtain's too strong! No, no! Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Wait, I'm good. Good job, you won. Yep. Yeah, that was actually a fake exit, so you have to do that all again. Are you serious? You really think I'm gonna give up? You really think that? You really think? No, you want me to give up. How am I back at the star? All right, and we're back. Oh. All right, and we're back, baby. Oh, <laughs> I actually tried. Oh, okay, I did it. I did okay, it. there we go. Oh my. Wow, look at that. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, welcome to room seven. Uh, and it's basically a very, very long tunnel. Wait, this is a tunnel? I just see a torch. Because <laughs> you play sound so many torches. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you it was actually deadly. Uh, wait, wait, I'm actually gonna die. Oh, oh. Wait, 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 I actually got a double hand. What the heck? Oh, Bro! Oh, oh, oh my oh, god, oh. if I stepped on the other pressure plate, I would have been dead. Really? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah! Chill, 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 chill. Get him! Get him! <laughs> oh, why are they loaded with more? Oh my. Oh my. 
Bro, how long is this? Would you be mad if I told you the tunnel was like uh, a thousand blocks long? Oh my god. Oh. oh! I only have one more totem. I forgot to eat. Okay, Kale, okay, gonna make sure I don't. But if I pop this last totem, you have to pull it. I'm not even kidding. I, I don't wanna die. Oh, uh, you made it to the end. Good job. Finally, bro. But you're gonna hate me. You're gonna hate me now. So walk up the stairs. Up here, you have two options. One of them takes you back through the entire thing. That's why there was double potions. And one of them takes you to the new room. So you have to pick. Oh my god. Bro, only, I only have one more totem. If I pick the wrong one, I'm over. It's over. Okay, okay. Let me, let me think about this. The trap door is wrong. The left one, the trapdoor is right. See what I'm saying? A lot of people go right because they're right-handed, but I, f I have a feeling you, you chose left. Oh my god, which one do I be? You know what? You know what? I'm going with the trapdoor method. No, I'm going with the hardest one. And the right side because everyone chooses right. And you probably thought that I was going to choose left. Oh my god. Yeah. Welcome to the fire ball room. <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome. Caleb. Okay, that really oh. did not last as long as I thought it would. <laughs> oh, bet. Bro, wait, Bro. why did the fire why did all of them not go off? You still have this super difficult parkour to get past, so good luck with that. This room yeah. is easy. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that wasn't cool. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Caleb, can you actually make me look cool? Oh well, that that was easy. Let me just do this park. Hey Caleb, please cut that out. Alright, that was easy. What? What? No. No. Bro, you gotta get past this. How did I miss that jump? Oh! First try, baby. Okay, let's get it. Open the door, please. Wait, I forgot you don't open the door. <laughs> oh my god. What? Is there like a passcode, bro? Oh. No, wait. There's a button. There, finally. Yo! Oh my gosh, bro. How many more rooms are there? There's actually only a few left. But I'm, I am going to warn you. The next upcoming ones are basically everything you just did, but 10 times harder. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, you can drop down whenever. Bro, I only have one more totem, bro. All right, one totem and a dream. Be ready to pull. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, bro. Of course. Let's go! Oh, be careful, be careful. I Pop. found it, I found it, I found it. All right, yeah. so this one is an upgraded version of the Flutter Room, but with actual guardians this time. Yeah, they're not dead. Oh, oh, uh, All you gotta oh, do is find the oh. uh, hidden exit, but it, it's pretty difficult. What? This is not the exit? Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Oh, I found it. Bro, you found that so fast. Easy. Oh my gosh. No. Why is it underwater? Okay. So this is basically the maze that you did, but uh, five stories tall and completely underwater. Did you leave the game? <laughs> I found it. Second story. Oh what? Oh, you found the. Oh, I found, found it. I found so it. Fast. All right, layer three. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> oh, layer think... four. You're flying through this. Good, good thing I checked. Yeah. Bro, there's no way you actually did it that fast. That, that's actually insane. Yeah. Right, I'm not, not going to tell you what to do for this room, but you have to have a certain item to get past. Oh, bet. It's just go like... It's just go like... It's just go like that. It's just go like this. You had a redstone torch? No, oh, no. I left it on the wall. Oh my god, I'm actually mad. Alright, so you know how I like my 50-50 chances, right? Well, this one's another one. Take a wrong turn, and you get put outside the vault with no way back in. Take a right turn, and you get put into the next room. Bro, these tunnels are exactly the same. How can I tell? <laughs> Wait, what uh, if I just do uh, this? Oh! <laughs> okay, I guess it's the right side. Yeah, you, uh, you picked the wrong one, and now you have to do the entire vault all over again. Caleb, pl please, please. I don't want to do that again. Are you saying you give up? I give up. Alright, are you ready to see what you're trying to win? 15 rotten flesh. Hold on. That's what you were trying to get to the uh, entire time. Bro, chill, bro, bro. We're in hardcore, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Look about my toe. If you like this video, make sure to click the one on the screen right now. Also, sorry for not uploading for seven months, but um, I'll try to do better next time.